Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Rail of Fire, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So it's uh, it's it's an it's an update of, of a story of a teacher with uh, with the students. There seems to be a lot of that today, and uh, maybe you hate it, maybe you love it. Um, I just I have I've been I've been slacking with getting out these stories. Now, if you look at this image here, you might you might recognize this woman. I've covered her a few times. Um, she decided she was going to get it on with an 11 year old boy. The the man that she's with that's that was that was the man Sam Hickman who she was literally about to marry within like weeks. And then obviously he was like, "What? That bitch cheated on me with an 11 year old?" And then he he dumped her. He got the hell out of Dodge. Uh, good for him because if you remember Mario, was it Mario three or whatever? And you have to like j jump over the really big bullets. That's what this guy. He just dodged the biggest bullet in the entire world. So there's new or disgusting new allegations made against female Wisconsin elementary school teacher who was 24, accused of, you know, with an 11 year old boy. So those of uh, the the, I guess the updates to the charges are. Now the disgraced teacher has been hit with additional charges, including using a computer to facilitate child sex crimes, uh, exposing a child to harmful descriptions, two counts of child enticement, and five counts of sexual misconduct by school staff. So that's sort of the update. But the newest update in the case is that uh, she's making some shocking demands in court. A uh, shocking demand from elementary school teacher arrested for make, make, making out with a student. Again, an 11 year old. What is it? I, I couldn't imagine being like, oh, 11 year old, let me feel your tongue on my tonsils. I can't. I can't. It, bra it, breaks, my, it breaks my brain. The suspended Wisconsin elementary school teacher accused of making out with an 11 year old student has demanded that her charges be dropped. I mean, the entitlement of this bitch. Madison Bergman, 24, was arrested in April after a fifth grader's parents reported her to Rivercrest Elementary School administrators and police. On Thursday, Bergman, who was dumped by her fiancé <laughs> for repulsive actions, um, claimed the charges against her should be thrown out because the boys' text messages weren't specific enough to prove how. They touched each other. Yes, I, I've read that correctly, and, and you've heard that correctly. She's demanding the charges be thrown out because the victim wasn't specific enough in the text messages. I mean, talk about victim blaming? Holy smokes. Bergman, dressed in light gray pants and a black shirt, showed up to court with her father and looked downcast after a judge refused her request. Well, that's good. I'm glad this judge has some common sense. During the motion hearing, more intimate messages between the disgraced teacher and student revealed that she allegedly said that she wanted to lick the boy's abs and that she liked touching his chest. Of course, of course he's got abs. He's an 11-year-old boy. He hasn't had any time to get fat yet. Good heavens. An 11-year-old. In one of the recently revealed text messages, the boy allegedly wrote, you are touching my chest a lot. Her attorney, Joseph Tamburino, argued that his client's behavior does not mean she sexually assaulted him because the fifth grader used the word chest when describing their contact with each other. I understand why they're doing it. I mean, I would likely do it too. So would you. But the way that they're trying to lawyer their way out of her being a pedophile who sexually assaulted a child is kind of disgusting. It's, it's, it's basically when uh, Bill Clinton argued the definition of the word is. Do you remember that? Like, they're really trying to lawyer the way out of it and blaming the victim at the same time. The basis of this motion is that there's not probable cause in the complaint. In one specific area, 
And that's the area of sexual contact of an intimate part. Tamburino said. I don't know. Like, touching a... Gently and delicately, or, you know, a, like sort of like in an aroused fashion, touching a chest, a pec muscle, the abs. I, I think that's, that's, that's sexual, right? Um, a, a, a story from my personal life um, ju from just the other day, actually, regarding my children. Um, be because all of my children have autism, um, it's not always easy to clip their fingernails and their toenails. We obviously, like any parent, do our best, but sometimes they can't handle the sensory or whatever 10,000 reasons are, okay? And, and my, my three-year-old at school, his, his nails were a touch longer. And his EA had noticed. And so she's like, oh, I'm just going to just give those just a, a little clip. And then she was like, oh, because I did that, I... I need to talk to Sean and Janelle and let them know because I hope they're not mad. And and we were like, no, thank you. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing that he let you do that. He's not always comfortable, even when he's in a, like a safe place. So the fact that he trusts you with that, that's that's amazing. I'm, I'm glad that's worked out. You you have permission to, to clip them if, if, if we can't. But she was like, oh, my God, because I have to handle his body like that, um, I, I, I need to talk to the parrot. I bring that story up because this teacher should, there's, there's no reason to touch a student. I mean, for the most part, there's no reason to touch a student like at all. And usually when, when they do, like my example, they're like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry I had to do this. So when they're like, yeah, but... We don't know if it's touching of an intimate part. We don't know if it's kind of like sexual. It, the victim didn't say it in the message. So therefore, it's disgusting. It's disgusting the way that they're trying to lawyer out of it. Teachers don't touch students. I mean, if sure, if they, if they got the climate change injection and, and then they fell over and then you have to give them CPR and mouth to mouth to save their life, fine, do that. That seems to be happening a lot nowadays. You know, don't touch kids. So anyway, under Wisconsin statutes, there has to be touching of an intimate part in order for there to be sexual contact. What are those parts? The breast, the buttocks, the anus, the groin, the scrotum, the penis, the vagina, or the pubic mound of a human being? The statute does not say it's the chest or the chest area, he added. Yes, lawyering his way out of pedophilia. The judge quickly decided that her attorney's argument would not change his mind on Bergman's charges because he's probably as disgusted as everybody else is. It would be absurd to require a child to use the same language that the state legislature has chosen for our statute, the judge replied. How dare you make the victim or demand the victim talk to his abuser in the way that the, uh, the state writes shit down on paper. The judge proceeded to read more text between the 24-year-old and the 11-year-old as one read, I love, ha I love having my hand on your chest. I could feel your heart beating so much. Ha ha ha. Bergman allegedly sent the boy. In a response, the student allegedly said, ha ha, it was beating so fast. I was so surprised and I loved it because you just kept kissing me. Gross. When everyone was cleaning after reading, I was standing at the front and you were too and I touched your chest, she allegedly wrote. When I grabbed your shirt and I pulled you into me, oh my goodness, I wanted to lick your abs. Ha ha. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's gross. The judge ultimately ruled that the word chest does not excuse Bergman from being charged for sexual assault. Although Bergman was initially charged with first-degree sexual assault of a child, she was hit with the additional charges which I read at the beginning of this video. 
An alarm was raised on April 29th when the boy's mother overheard a phone call between Bergman and the victim. His father confiscated his phone and discovered the sexually charged messages. In one text, Bergman told the boy that she wanted to grab his face and, and push him to the floor and make out with him. In another text, she allegedly wrote, I almost kissed you when you were on the ground today, but I got distracted by your stomach. Now this rest of the article will uh, sort of go into the stuff that we've already covered here. Um, at this point, if you haven't liked, subscribed, shared, do that now. Um, so the, the child's father then uh, handed over printed text message between Bergman and his son to law enforcement and uh, the school. During the interview with police, she told authorities that the victim's mother allegedly gave her the student's phone number after the family invited her to the Afton Alps, a skiing resort over winter break. I don't know what kind of a uh, student or what kind of parents invite their their child's teacher to a holiday retreat skiing resort over winter break that's weird that's fucking weird upon searching bergman's bag officers found handwritten notes between the pair stored in a folder emblazoned with the victim's name charging document said uh, in her note she tells him that she loves him wants to kiss him he turns her on and that she is obsessed with him um the complainant uh stated in one letter bergman allegedly wrote one of my cousins is in is in the fifth grade and i can't imagine a man talking to her how we talk I know we have a special relationship, and I do love you more than anyone in the world, but I have to be the adult here and stop. Uh, oh, I bet your fiancé was really crushed at that point, how you love an 11-year-old boy more than him. Holy smoke. Police also spoke to the little boy who made comments about really liking her, trusting her, feeling weird, but also liking it, because his pee-pee was probably hard. What a weird feeling at first. You don't really know what's going on. Even, even, even as a parent. As a, as a parent to little boys. You're trying to change diapers and whatnot. And they're like, Daddy, why is my penis doing this? And you're like, ask your mother. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just don't want to deal with that right now. Just don't touch it. When asked about the text exchange between her and the student, Bergman invoked uh, her right to an attorney, which is, is smart. Don't talk to the cop. Don't don't do don't don't do crime. Don't record yourself doing crime, and don't talk to the police. That's basically pretty sound advice there. Also, I'd say if you're a teacher, don't fuck your kids. So then, this will further go on into how she like moved his desk closer to hers. All the other students thought he was the bad kid in class because he had to sit beside the teacher. Meanwhile, she was like rubbing up on him during class where nobody could see. And then it would then it's going to talk about um, her partner. Uh, the ex-teacher was set to marry her partner, Sam Hickman, in July. But the plans were scrapped. I mean, obviously, due to what uh, Hickman described as fucked up behavior by his now ex fiance it's been indefinitely postponed, a friend of the couple told the New York Post. He's really, really hurt, not talking too much about it, just like this is fucked up. He's still in shock. Not only did she cheat on him, but she cheated with a little kid. Uh, she has pleaded guilty to all charges and is expected to appear in court on October um, 7 for her preliminary hearing she faces up to 178 years in prison if convicted she won't so even though she has pleaded guilty i mean she's trying to whittle them down as we've talked about most of this video she's demanding things be thrown out she's trying to lawyer her way out of them um which i'm going to be honest here it is a little bizarre how she would plead guilty and then try and like whittle out of them usually you try and do that beforehand i don't know i don't know it, it, it's weird i guess we're gonna find out what happens um october 7th well i guess will be the next update 
in that. But thank you for, for watching this video, this, this update of a pedophile teacher. I love you all. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.